Thank you for choosing Ercolina for your bending application. Ercolina's innovative patented mandrel system is designed to produce high quality bends in tube, pipe, and other hollow profiles. The mandrel table attaches to the Mega Bender 030 rotary draw bender, making it a cost effective alternative to high volume systems. The Mega Bender's electromechanical drive system improves reliability and reduces costs and maintenance requirements associated with more expensive all hydraulic systems. Our mandrel table hydraulic system is simple and reliable, operating only the clamp die, pressure die, and mandrel extractor. Ercolina's standard microprocessor is programmed at the touch keypad and controls clamping, mandrel movement, bending speed, bending angle, and material spring back compensation. Mandrel tables are available in three different lengths, up to 20 feet, to accommodate most applications. Before we discuss your application, let's learn some basic terms you will need to know at various points throughout this video. Bend angle is the desired degree of the bend. Spring back setting, the additional degrees needed to compensate for the material's tendency to flex backwards after the bend. Center former, forming tool with a specific profile and CLR designed to allow workpiece to form a round edge to desired angle. Centerline radius, or CLR, is the distance from the center of the former to the center line of the material to be bent. Mandrel, a solid or flexible tool designed to support the inside to profile throughout the bend process. Mandrels are available in steel or brass depending on material to be bent. Pressure die, a tool that supports the outside of the material. It's designed to move forward with the material during the bend. Wiper die, a tool designed to rest against the center former, offering additional support to the outside of the material. The clamp die secures the workpiece during the bend cycle. Mandrel bending, this process can best be described as material being drawn between a stationary die and a fixed radius former to the desired bend angle. During this process, the outside of the tube is supported with a pressure die and a wiper die, while an internal mandrel supports the inside of the tube. Before beginning, inspect mandrel table to ensure no damage occurred during shipment. On a large open level area, lay out and identify all parts. The following steps are numbered and can be referenced with the Mega Bender manual for your convenience. Warning: Do not connect power until directed to do so. Step 1: Install 4 M12 by 1.75 by 40 carriage head style bolts into threaded nuts on each corner of mandrel table. Next, position machine and mandrel table close together. Adjust height of vertical legs until dowel pins protruding from mandrel table align with channel of mounting bracket. Slide four T-nuts into slotted channel on mounting bracket. Step 4. Install four M10 by 1.5 by 30 hex head bolts with M10 heavy washers through mounting flange and into threaded T-nuts. Do not tighten at this time. Thread M16 by 20 adjusting rod into mandrel table. Step 6. Locate and remove two M8 by 1.25 by 25 socket head cap screws securing table alignment bracket. Reverse bracket position and reinstall screws securing bracket. Secure table adjustment rod, aligning groove and table adjustment rod into slot of table alignment bracket. Next, Attach hydraulic hoses 1 and 2 to distribution block. Route these hoses around right-hand side of machine as shown. Install round communications cable from mandrel table to mating socket located on left-hand side of bending machine. Install gray communications cable from clamp die to top port on left-hand side of machine securing with screws provided. Next. Install gray communications cable from mandrel table to second port from the top of left-hand side of machine, securing with screws provided. Step 12. 
Connect hydraulic hoses 3, 4, and 0 to distribution block. Route these hoses to left side of machine. Step 13. Have a qualified electrician use voltage multimeter to measure and confirm actual line voltage where machine is to be connected to power source. An isolated 30 amp circuit is recommended. Remove access cover on bending machine exposing power supply transformer. Identify two power cables. One cable is tagged in for incoming power and the other is marked out for outgoing power. Warning, never move the cable marked out from its factory set position. If necessary, move in cable to match actual measured line voltage. Reinstall transformer access door. Step 17. Remove rear cover plate from digital reader head. Slide electrical connections for reader through mounting tube neck. Step 19. Attach electrical connections to their respective labeled positions on reader head. Slide reader head assembly into mounting tube and secure with bolt provided. Replace rear cover of digital reader head. Step 22. Remove access door located at rear of mandrel table. Remove hydraulic reservoir cap and fill reservoir with hydraulic fluid. Refer to operator's manual for recommended oil. Note fluid level on sight glass located on side of reservoir. Step 24. Using cabinet key provided, open hydraulic electrical cabinet door. Verify power tap setting on transformer matches actual incoming line voltage. Move tap wire as necessary to match actual voltage. Close and lock access door. Step 25. Have qualified electrician connect machine and mandrel table to proper electrical source. Rotate mandrel table power unit and bending machine switches to on position. Observe reference arrow located on mandrel table hydraulic motor housing to verify proper rotation of mandrel table hydraulic motor. Change motor phasing if necessary. Reinstall access door of mandrel table. Next, using adjustment rod and handle provided, adjust center line dimension of mandrel table to match center line radius of desired former. A linear scale is provided for reference. Secure mandrel table to machine base with four M10 by 1.5 by 30 hex head bolts with a 17 millimeter wrench. Slide mandrel drawbar through chuck and secure it to threaded rod located on rear cylinder. The mandrel and mega bender are now ready for tooling.